Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to a new series I'm doing on my channel. It's just gonna be, I did put a poll up on Twitter as you saw, but it's just gonna be like a, just a manager crew mode. We're not gonna stick to a specific team. We're just gonna be bouncing from team to team, just winning as much things, as many things as we can. I've put a poll out on Twitter. You all said I should start at Barcelona. So let's go. Barcelona it is. I don't mind that at all. So yeah, we'll just try and win as many trophies as we can and do the best we can for for um, Barcelona and any other teams we go to to try and help them. So yeah, if you're enjoying the series, please leave a like, comment, subscribe as well. It really helps me out. And tell me in the comments what, what you want to happen, what you want to see. I don't really mind at all. Right, save it as that. We're not going to go into a preseason tournament because it's just we need to get straight into some transfer business, in my opinion. So this is the team. Obviously, Messi, the captain, out wide, 32 years of age, he's getting on a bit. Suarez, Griezmann. I'm a bit. I'm interested in selling Suarez whilst he's still got some value. Apart from that, it's a good team. Could win the Champions League with it, maybe. We'll see. But we got, look at that, nearly 200 million. Jesus Christ. So yeah, I am looking to offload Suarez. So we will, um... We'll go find him now. Yeah, because he just... Sergio Busquets as well. Getting on a bit. We want young players that can grow, like Rakitic is getting on a bit as well. So is Vidal. All these players. Coutinho is out on loan. Messi will stay because, you know. But yeah, Suarez. Maybe we can get rid of him. It's not a definite. All these players that I've just put on the list is not a definite, by the way. It's just a, um, a maybe. Like, so what do we really need in this team? We need... A right back, maybe another centre midfielder, and a forward. So, what right backs are there? Um, I do have some centre mids. One of them's Kante, Pogba, but they're a bit like oldish. Like, is Van der Beek still at Ajax? Van, Donny Van der Beek. Yeah, he is. There he is. We could get him and play him alongside. Uh, play him alongside. Uh, De Jong, that'd be pretty good. Now we're gonna go look in the Premier League. We're just gonna look at all the leagues. See what we can find. Aguero is a bit old, really. Alexander Arnold is one. Would he go to Barca though? Uh, Aubameyang a bit old. We need young players, really. Bellerin. Wait, how much is... How old's Pogba? Cause that, he's not that old, is he? Pogba. There, 26. It's alright. Right, let's go view this. So, so far we've got Van der Beek, Alexander Arnold and Pogba. That'll be some great signings. Because my window just blows open randomly. But the most important one is going to be Alexander Arnold. So we're going for him. First. Now we could use a player swap that and try and get some of these players out that we don't really want. Like a Rakitic, maybe? A Rakitic... <laughs> that, that's not worth it, though, is it? Rakitic plus 50 million. I'll do Rakitic plus 35. <laughs> they might walk here, but there's no way I'm doing Rakitic plus 50 mil. Jesus. it's a lot of money. Plus 45. 
44. They're not moving, are they, at all? We'll just do it plus 50. Hopefully they'll accept that. Yeah, okay, we have a deal. Van der Beek next. What I might do is I might just try and do a direct swap for Busquets. Do you reckon they would accept that? Is that fair enough? Busquets? They're not interested. Alright, okay. Centre backs, full backs, Sergio Roberto, okay, plus 30 million. We'll try, no, we'll try 28.5. Nope, they've gone up a bit. What about that? Will they accept that? Yeah, they will, okay. So we're getting some deals done. Now it's the big one, Paul Pogba. I'm going to include Busquets in this one, I think. Uh, midfielders. They're interested. But they want another 44 mil, so that's fair enough. We'll try to get it down to 35. You know what, I'm just going to accept that, to be honest. We'll take that. Right, so that's all done. We just need to do their contracts now. I think that's good. As long as we can get them all on a good deal, I think that's good. Good business. Very, very good. Rotation. Yeah, he's fine with that. That's probably what it'll be anyway. Five year deal. We want a release clause. Deny release clause. Yeah, that's fine by me. Alexander Arnold next. So Busquets on his way to United. Pog was on his way to us, hopefully. Important first team player. We'll try to get him on a five year. Oh, deny release calls again. He's a good young player, Alexander Arnold. Yeah, that's fine. Fine with that wage as well. Pog, but next. Important, yep. Try give him a five year deal. Yep, good. They all want release clauses, I'm, I don't really want to give them any. Oh, his wage is going to be mad high. I'll just try that. Okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. I am absolutely fine with that. That is some good signings we've just done. That is some good signings. So, we'll take Braveway out. Put in him. Take him out. Where's Pogba? Where is Pogba? There, he's already on the bench. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good so far. We've made some good deals. Actually, we'll put Pogba in. Instead of Vidal. Alexander-Arnold at right back. And Van der Beek can stay on the bench. Yeah, it's looking alright so far. Still got some money to spend though. So yeah, we can we can keep going. Messi says greetings, boss. Want to keep him on as long as possible. Okay, this is interesting. 
We have a loan off for Fatty. Right, so he's not really going to get much game time. He's 73 rate and he's 16. Don't want to sell him, but I will accept a loan offer. I think that's fair enough, actually, if we send him out on loan. That is fair enough. Because then he can get some game time and actually like grow. Because he won't grow just sat on the bench. I think he's been loaned out. Right, off for Vidal. Yeah, he has been loaned out. 25 mil. He's 32. That's not a bad deal. I'm just going to accept that. That's fair enough. That's a good deal. In my opinion there. That's very good. Another one for Vidal. Well, 26 mil. I'll also accept that, obviously. But Lenglect, I am not really interested in selling. I don't think. Hang on. We'll negotiate. Because he's not the greatest defender. He's very, very good. If we can get, like, 80 mil, 90 mil in for him, we could go, like, buy a massive player. We'll try 85. Jesus, they're not moving. The least I'll sell them for 75. They've accepted it. Okay. 75 million isn't bad. Because we, we got... Now we're up to, like, nearly 200 mil. We can go in for a Van Dyke or something. Suarez. Here we go, Suarez. Oh, yeah, but we need a centre-back as well. Negotiate. But yeah, Luis Suarez. He's not part of my plans. We need to get him out, really. Griezmann can play up top if we don't have anyone else. Yep, 70 mil. That's fine by me. That is fine. 100% take that. Right, we'll wait for the, those three players to sell. And then we'll go in for some more business. Renglet has sold. Suarez has sold, okay. Jordi Alba, nope. Two hundred mil then. We're going for Van Dyke. Uh, where is he? Centre back. Where is he? There he is, right at the bottom. He is going to be a lot of money. 91 rated. Jesus. We're going to have to pay a lot. And I'm going to go in for 100 million straight away. 100 mil. What are they going to say to this? Jesus Christ. Okay. 130 mil. This is a massive signing, by the way. You know what? I don't want to mess around. Van Dyke, we need you in the club. We need Van Dyke. Crucial, definitely. Jesus, wage is going to be so much as well. Gonna have to play Griezmann up front. We Dembele left wing as well. He wants a four-year deal. We'll give him that. Yeah, whatever. Oh, we've got him. What a result that is. What a result that is. Van Dijk, welcome to Barcelona. Welcome to Barcelona. So what we'll do is we'll do this for now. Take Braithwaite out, put in Van Dyke, and play him instead of him Titty. This team's coming along very nicely. Messi Van Dyke in the same team. Along with Pogba. It's very, very good. So yeah, we need to try and win everything. The league, 
No, we can't. The La Liga, the La Liga Cup, the Champions League, anything we need to bring to this club. Just bring as much as we can. Right, who do we have first game? Atletico Bilbao, so interesting. Barcelona actually lost this game in real life. I remember it for some reason, but yeah, they lost this game. Right, here we go. Come on then. Oh, Dembele's injured. We snuck a 1-0, but Dembele's injured. We don't really have a left winger. Okay. Already a player injury, but at least we got the win. 1-0, Dayton. Arthur got the goal. Dembele's out for five weeks. Not too bad. But the most important thing is that we got the win. I would sell him Titty, but... He's our only, like, backup centre back. So we have to, we have to kind of keep him. Right, first home game. Ray, Real Betis at home. Which is a 2 0 win. The main man, Messi. getting two goals that's great to see great to see perfect absolutely perfect we're third in the league as well Come on, let's get a win. Yes, 4-0. What a start it has been. We're top of the league. Oh, we win a group with Dortmund, Inter, and Slavia Praga. Okay, so we should squeeze through that. We should go through top of the group as well. But it's Valencia at home. So a bit of a tough game as Atletico Madrid actually topped the table. Dembele's back in the squad. It's a 4-0. Come on, Dortmund next. Should be a win. Come on, away to Dortmund. It's going to be tough. Can we get the win? No, we can't. It's a 2-1 defeat. That wasn't in the script. That was not in the script at all. Okay. Need to be a bit careful then, because we've lost our first group game. 2-0 win against Granada though, so we're back on track in the league. Atletico Madrid are still winning every game though, we can't seem to stop them at the moment. But we win as well, 2-1. Keeping our perfect start going. All of us have won every single match. Come on, away to Getafe. Big win. Dembele gets two, Pogba gets one. And now it's back to Champions League where we need to be a bit careful because otherwise we could face going out. Inter at home. Come on. Nil nil. This isn't going well at all. This is not going well at all. If we go out in the group stage, that will be absolutely awful. Now nah, we can't. We need to pull ourselves together and just just get enough points to go through 
big win against Seville though, four 0 We're doing perfectly in the league. So yeah, we need to keep that going. But Real Madrid are keeping pace with us at the moment. We have to beat Spain international. I'm going to accept that. I'm the Barcelona manager. I might as well accept Spain as well. Why not? We'll go for that. See if we can win the World Cup, maybe. We've beaten Ibar. We've thrashed Ibar. Messi gets a hat-trick. Right, this game's crucial now. We, we need to, like, start winning games. Because this... We, we could go out. Away from home. Come on. Yes, alright, thank God. Maybe we're not going out of the Champions League after all. Real Madrid then. At home. Can we do it? No, we can't. Gareth Bale stunned us. Gareth Bale. Okay. Yes, Messi getting the goal. Keeps us in the race. Still three points behind Real Madrid, though. Only two above Atletico Madrid now, though. Come on. Yes, 3-1. Pogba hat-trick. I think he scored two pens there as well. Right, we are second in the group. We want to really win this group. I don't know why we're um doing so badly. Anyway, we're at home. Just about. Why are we doing so poorly in the Champions League? We just about managed to squeeze a win there. It looks like we probably are going to go through, but we should be doing better than that. Should be doing a lot better. But it looks like we will have enough to go through. Okay. Dropped more points in the league. That's not good. Real Madrid could go five points ahead of us. Release clause paid from Titi. They've paid 82 mil from Titi. Okay, if you want to pay that much, Liverpool, you can have him, but... Jesus Christ. International friendly against Sweden. Big win. 2 0. We're not doing very well at the moment, though. Three one win away to England, though. We're five points behind Madrid. But we win 3-0, keep up the pace on them. Right, here we go. This is a massive game. Come on, let's get a win. We're at home. I don't believe it. We've lost 2-1 to Dortmund at home. We could be facing going out of the Champions League. We're third in the group. We have to be Inter. Otherwise, we're out of the Champions League. Anyway, we have Atletico away first. Which we lose to. Come on, Barcelona. Why are we doing so badly? We're so far behind. Eight points behind Real Madrid now. Oh, if we go out of the Champions League. Jesus. Big win here, though. 4-0. Keeps our slim title chances alive. 
Here we go then. We're third in the group. If we don't win, we're out. It's as simple as that. If we don't pick up three points, we're out. This is the time for Messi to step up. Here we go. I've pressed it. There's no turning back. Come on. Oh, we've done it. As I said, Messi to step up. He has 2-0 win. And we are through. Thank God for that. Anyway, this is where I'm going to end the episode, guys, at the end of the group stage. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed.